so that I'm afraid to ask, but uh, you're not Sandy Mason, are you? Bob Keel. Todd Stiles. I know. I've been supposed to report to Mr. Mason for a week, but every time I go by the lab, there's a big secret sign on the door. Ever race in Division 4? No. Stock hydros, runabouts, no modified jobs. And that's been about three years. Any marathons? Oh, sorry. Well, Sandy will teach you. I'm beginning to doubt that there really is a Sandy. First ranger on the left. Secrets, it appears outside him, waiting, the predator he must meet.
Bob. Todd Stiles, George Mills. Hi, Todd. Hi. Just throw your stuff there in the back and climb up. Oh, thanks. Everything get here? About an hour ago. Fence in the rule. Do they have anything particular to say? Just keep out. They wouldn't even let me help unload the gear. Everything inside the shop? Yeah, and they're outside. Four on and four off. <laughs> even Mata Hari or Rin Tin Tin couldn't get in there. And how's the outsider situation? Same as usual. A couple of midweek fishermen. Honeymoon couple down at Thompson Bay. Nothing to worry about. Worry about them. I like it better that way. Mason, you don't get a chance to worry in advance. There's no warning system. There's no Connell rat. Relax, this is an easy run. He's not ringing out anything today but you. Just gonna see how you read the river, that's all. Read the river? Yeah, this is all the Colorado here. Backed up behind the Parker Dam. Cover some cottonwood trees and a few volcanic hills which have since become reefs. Sandy needs a new track for testing. A longer run than we've been using. At least 10 miles where he can flat get with it once he decides to open her up. So? You read the river. And he reads me. Jack it off. 
Now you run this boat back to Zach. You just gonna leave him there? You know in the back of half left. You don't stop, you don't turn, and you don't pick anybody up. Clear? And when you get there, you turn us over to Black Q. Tell them to send out one of our regular boats to pick us up. Not this one. You and I, Styles. We'll have a little talk when I get back on the shore. So you can't go through life carrying a snake bite kit, so uh, cheers. Incidentally, if you've run into any diamondbacks today, I'm buying. He's waiting outside. You forgot something. The rest of your drink. Well, that's only good for snake bites. I don't know what you take for rib crushes. to get me a reliable test driver. But someone not so set in his ways that I couldn't train him. And what did they send him? A bull in search of a china shop. Well, there's no time left to replace you, so we're going to struggle along with each other. But I swear to you, Styles, either you follow my instructions without question, without blinking an eyebrow, or I'll anchor you at the base of Parker Dam. I don't have words to waste. I don't have time to waste. Ten years I've worked on this. It's been tested on all computers, and now it's going to be tested here at Site 6 this week. And two weeks from now in a marathon, and with your help, in spite of yourself, clear? Look, I'm sorry if I goof, but when I see somebody drowning... Did I let him drown? If you just tell me what all the secrecy is about, what it is we're supposed to be testing, maybe I'll be a little quicker on the uptake, but nobody around here wants to do any talking. An engine, mister. A marine engine I've been dreaming about for years. An engine that'll absolutely lead every outboard motor on every boat in every country. An engine that'll wipe out the competition. An engine I've been dreaming about for years. My engine. So you remember that. The river's cost me 10 years and this company a lot of money. The river's cost me more than time, things I don't like to talk about. So when I say jump, mister, you jump or else you pack your bag and you go back to L.A. Your choice, mister. I like it here, no smog. All right, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning on the dock with your little safety jacket ready to go. just thank you. Oh, apparently you don't remember me. This hasn't been one of my best days. Oh, one of your very best. At least for me. You saved my life. Oh, the lady in the lake. I'm very grateful. Well, actually, I didn't do anything. It was Sandy. They say my beef stroganoff is the best east of the Rockies. 
Does it bother you we're West? Mm. Is there enough for three? Oh, Bill, he had to drive into Needles. I don't know your name. Gene Corey. What's well, okay, Todd? She's not really married except to her job. Good night. Did she suggest that tomorrow she'd be swimming over at Thompson Bay? And if you got out alone in that simply scrumptious new boat you were unwinding today, she just might happen to have a pair of water skis handy. And would you give her a tow, please? You know, there must be a toehold someplace for people of limited intelligence like me. Then she'd tire of skiing and she'd ask you to pull her aboard. And in that few seconds she climbed the transom, her busy little eyes would have bored clean through those twin engine prototypes we brought down here. Jean was one of my top students at MIT. She's now the assistant chief engineer for one of our competitors. You mean the whole thing on the lake today? Todd, the lake is 30 miles long. We own only a few sections on this side. We can't build a wall around it. Now, we don't have any uh, uh, beef stroganoff up at the shack, but uh, there is a fairly respectable beef stew on the card and some home-baked apple pie. How about it? I got a saying in the jungle, the only way to enjoy a meal is to have your dinner without providing someone else with his. All I know is the orders are, don't disturb. I'd like to try. Well, it's your stew. Mr. Mason? He insisted, Mr. Mason. Come on in, kid. Well, they say I scare people. I don't seem to scare you. Come on. How do you know? I miss a lot of meals. <laughs> Put it right here. You know something? You're the only person except for my wife that ever had the fortitude to make me eat by bringing it in here and putting it down in front of me. Hey, thanks a lot. I'm glad I don't scare you. Except when you say jump, I better jump or I'll be anchored at the base of Parker Dam. I meant that. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, take a look under that and tell me what you see. What do you see? Same engines that were on our boat today. That's right. They weigh 100 pounds apiece. Take a guess on the horsepower. Well, they look like 40s, but they perform more like 60s. 100. Well, that's not possible. I mean, I'm no engineer, but I know a ratio of one horsepower to one pound of weight is some kind of a dream. I told you, kid. 10 years. These are turbines. Only one moving part, no vibration, they last forever. Nearest marine engine to this is four times as big, four times as heavy. I'll tell you something else. Once we test these out and we tool up, we can deliver them for $1,500 each with a lifetime guarantee. You know what that'll do to the competition? Put it right off the map. Then, we'll see. We'll see who's the old man of the mountain around here. Styles! Now, the first half dozen runs, I want your eyes on the meters. 
I want him fine-tuned while I'm pulling full power. Now we'll see how fast you can switch the tanks and fuel lines. We'll keep practicing until you can do it in your sleep. Then we'll check you for body balance and shifting. I'm going to get her trimmed out and floating with plenty of air under us. And then go looking for waves. I want you to get the feel of just how far forward the shift to help squash the air out. So we can hold her flat without throttling down. Got it? Got it. Okay. Hey. Would he be without the finest metallurgists in the country? Just tell me that, Bob. You know what this means? I wish I didn't. When Sandy comes in, tell him I'll be at the bar. No welcome, Matt? Just an early start. Los Angeles, he was here. You're a Dana, aren't you? You don't remember me, do you? I'm sorry. The yo yo? Oh, you taught me, Mr. Keel. Rock the cradle, walk the dog, and uh, let's see, there was... Um, Playing dead and, and, and sle sleeping... Sleeping dog. Sleeping baby, wasn't no, it? No, sleeping dog. Well. Well, how's your mother? Hey, the boss just landed. Wait till he hears. You coming over to the strip? Had a visitor, Sandy. seem to say I can say he hello but I can't seem to say hello father Dana. hey kid Come here. 
Get her a place to stay. Uh, stick with her. Anything she needs, you know. Until we work things out. Well, come on, he's waiting for us. Clocking 92. Yeah, and I was still holding back. Oh, it's a proud day. How are you, Bob? Say, uh, do you mind if I have a couple of words with Sandy, Bob? Doing to Minneapolis this afternoon. I wanted to catch you on the way. Oh. George, how are you? Just fine, Eddie. How's Betty? Oh, she loves it out here. Good, good. Say hello to her for me, will you? Sure. <laughs> Go on. I guess it's the times, huh? In 80 years, we've come from Edison's light bulb to 100 megaton sunbursts. But in our understanding of our own personal natures, we're still in the horse and buggy era. So that when we see a man, a friend even, choking on his own personal brand of bitters, we tend to swallow our tongues. Sandy, I know why you broke through on this engine. You wanted to show us, all of us. When Norma left you, you didn't want friends anymore. You just wanted to win something that nobody else had ever won before. Take people's minds off what you'd lost. Well, okay. But uh, now what? Now that you've shown us, now what happens? This week at the factory, there were three attempts to get a look at your plans for the turbo engine. Well, no luck, but next thing they're going to be coming after you. Stock options, five-year contracts, the whole barrage. Oh, 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 don't say it, Sandy, don't say it. Don't tell me nobody can buy you. It's a cutthroat world. This engine's going to hurt a lot of companies until they finally close the gap. They got a right to stay in business. They got a right to fight for their existence. Sandy, I flew in here today to make a bid to keep you. As of now, your salary is up 10,000 a year. Royalties, that goes without saying. Stock options. And once you've wrapped up the marathon, three months vacation. In the sun, in the snow, you roll it. <laughs> oh, you don't have to answer me now. There's no pressure. And don't feel guilty if you decide to take some other offer. We want you with us, Sandy, but we want to see you free and happy again. Look, uh, walk me back to the plane, huh? There's a cold front coming in from Canada. I want to beat it into Minneapolis. jazz for so long I yeah I noticed the suitcase labels on top of labels uh, what's the one with the funny writing half French and half something else Swahili oh Africa the Congo well if you need me for anything else I'm in the main apartment building number three I was lying I play the music loud I keep trying to drown out the other sounds. They don't drown. When I saw him last, I was 10. What is he like? Well, um, I really don't know much about him. He was strong, very strong. He could open a jar of strawberry jam with one twist of his wrist. 
Once at night, he, he came in my room. He thought I was asleep, and he tucked the comforter in at my feet. When he left, I couldn't even pull it out, the way I always like to do, the way I like to poke my toes out free. Once at Pasadena at a parade, he picked me up so I could watch the floats go by. He held me up for more than an hour. Is he still strong? Well, I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. Dana, your uh, father was on his way over when they called him from the shop. Uh, some sort of an emergency. Uh, you know we're getting ready for this race and, uh, well, he'll catch you later. How about some lunch? I'm ready. three-minute eggs have been exhausted. And don't say that you'll change. You can't. I look into your eyes, and I see the future, all the horizons, and you alone are the furthest one. You don't need anyone, darling. You don't need me. It breaks my heart to Monsieur? You're a long way from home. It's a wild not world now, monsieur. You know, last year's marathon, I chased two of your engines halfway through the race before I finally managed to pass them. Lots of luck this year. Say, your racing teams aren't due for another week. A little early, aren't you? As you can see, I'm fishing. Read this in your leisure. Tomorrow morning I'll meet you right here. We'll discuss it. Au revoir, monsieur. Nobody tonight, that's what the man said. Look, son. You hear the music? If it was anybody but Sandy's kid, I'd have had her turn it down hours ago. Can you hear it, Mr. Mason? Now, look. If it bothers you, go tell her I said to turn it off. Oh, another hot huh? Well, two in the room make a steam bath. So say a piece and get to There's bed. There's a girl up there that's scared to death of being alone. Now, I stayed with her all day today. I don't mind that. I'll stay with her till she stops shaking. She says the last time she saw you was 10 years ago. There's no emergency here in the shop, so what are you trying to do to her? That's a contract, not an answer. You got a big nose for other people's affairs? 
What would you do if somebody offered you half of Europe? Like contract. That's maybe the biggest and best chunk of incentive anybody was ever offered to sell out. Are they buying you or your engine? Do you know what's right or what's wrong? Yeah, I usually do. Congratulations, I don't. Not anymore. There was a time I'd have told the boss, you don't have to pay me any more money to make me stay. There was a time I'd have thrown that character from Europe and that contract right into the river. But now, now I'm wondering just how long it's going to take me to learn French. Somewhere, somehow, a simple, beautiful thing. A single morality, a single set of standards was smashed like an atom into 10 million separate pieces. And now, now it's right for a man can be wrong for his business. And what's right for his business can be wrong for his country. And what's right for his country can be wrong for his world. Look, kid, please get her to turn down that radio. said, please. He's not coming, is he? No. He still hates her that much? I think you should know where you stand. He doesn't want to see you, tonight or any other time. Do you know law? A little. The power of this cheat? No, I guess I missed that one. When my mother remarried, it was to Henri, an attorney, a Belgian. Under the power of this cheat, the unclaimed property of a citizen reverts to the state. What power have we for unclaimed people? Sorry I couldn't get back, but between the tests and this thing today and Dana... I... We had a date Saturday night, remember? You could have called. Who's Dana? Did you get my suit back? In the car. A girl. Oh. What's it doing in the car? You do remember our last conversation, don't you? You said two live ones and stick to the subassembly? Well, in the car, with your suit, mad for life, two grape crushes. Now, the way I figure it, uh, we can uh, drive up to Vegas. I mean, after the race, it's not that far. If you don't want to roll dice, well, you can walk around and uh, roll those sleeves of yours. What'd you do, meet her here in the desert? Who? Oh. Dana. Huh. As they say, this is it. Good to see you, Tiger. Uh, Vegas sounds great. I could use some. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, what about this Dana? I mean, with the, the two chicks I got incubating. Oh, she won't mind. Uh, she's a girl? For two weeks now, every minute I haven't been on the lake with Sandy, I've been with her. Just uh, standing around, trying to give her the strength to leave. 
We haven't said ten words to each other since last week. Like uh, Wednesday night, we just sat on the dock till sunrise. We didn't talk to each other. But uh, every time I'd start to leave, she gets this look in her eyes, Buzz. It's desperate and full of terror. Good luck. Hey. Tell him if he asks where you went. He won't. At least I know you're not going back where you came from. Ashes, Dana. You're covered with the ashes of burnt bridges. You haven't told me anything, but some things are beyond words. You came here looking for more than a father. You came here needing something. What it is, what it was, I still don't know, but this much I know. Whatever it is you were looking for, you're leaving without it. Do you really want to know? Yeah. My mother's dead. My stepfather, too. Does he know? To him, my mother died the day she left him. This is the father I want. A father I have to buy back with the death of my mother. I didn't come running here, Todd. I slipped back, screaming. I fell back in terror. Because I lost my foothold in the world I knew. The slaughterhouse of a world I once loved. In Mabulula, some soldiers had been drinking. They mistook Henri and the others for white mercenaries. My mother ran out to stop them, and they machine-gunned her, too. Afterwards, they were sorry about the mistake. They came to shake my hand and tell me how sorry they were about the mistake. Some, some of them were crying. I don't know how they did that, because I couldn't, I couldn't even close my eyes. Everything I saw after that stayed in my eyes for hours, images that wouldn't go away. But none of them could cover the one image. Henri, mother, in the street of Mabulula. In the Africa I knew, the scent of the universe was in the air. On the savannas you could fill your nostrils with the perfume of time, unspoiled, unchanged. After it rained, I used to watch the rainbow bury its claws in the west. Africa and I had a treaty, an alliance of love. But now I understand nothing anymore.
boat now. He's just passing the judges' stand. the future has a mortal enemy, a faceless enemy, because the future has no being of its own. It steals its being from each man, and once it's tricked him of his secrets, it appears outside him, the predator he must meet. But it can be met, and it can be vanquished, if only you reach out for it with open arms and a hungry heart. film presentation from Columbia Pictures. Herbert B. Leonard, executive producer.